2.5 million Americans will be flying this Memorial Day weekend. Air travel is bouncing back, but numbers are still down. AAA expects airplane travel to be down 23% from 2019. AAA is reminding passengers masks are still required in all airports and aboard all planes. So as we take an in-depth look at Denver International Airport, starting with passenger traffic, it continues to increase. Over the next week, DIA expects more than 300,000 passengers. That is nearly five times as many as last year at this time when DIA saw just 67,000 people. Well, there is still a lot of construction in the terminal and on every concourse of the airport, but one area is done. Take a look at the new B West area. That's the B gates from 1 to 12. And you can see the new look is very different than the rest of the airport. Travel to Concourse B, head to the far west side, and it's going to look like a, a totally different space with white courts everywhere, with beautiful bathrooms, with beautiful seating, and you'll know you're in the right space. Just keep on walking and then you'll be in the outdoor patio with even there's fire pits, there's lounge seating, all that good stuff outdoor area sure does look nice. The airport has opened its first outside seating area and the outdoor patio is a great place to plane watch. There's even a pet relief area if your furry friend is flying with you. The layover. We have sifted through all the information for you. So here are some fast facts on the construction projects currently out at the airport. There's construction of course on Payne Boulevard getting to the airport so allow some extra time there and follow the signs. There's still construction in the terminal too. The first part of the Great Hall project should be unveiled this summer. It includes new check-in kiosks and self-bag drops for both United and Southwest Airlines. The enhanced security checkpoint construction will start this summer and every concourse has some construction going on as the airport adds 39 gates. And one more thing you need to know if you go to the airport, the shuttle parking lots are still closed. That means the Pikes Peak and Mount Elbert lots are still closed. You'll have to park in the garage or economy lots.